subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! So the world record I've got right now is 286 kilograms and the world record that I'm going to go for is 303 kilograms. It's a thing you don't want to do if you don't have to do it, like. I'm going to go for 230 kilos above my head for a Scotsman to take the world record off something like Sudrinus Aviscus. It's huge. A great deal of pride, I feel, being able to do that. My name is Luke Stoltman. Some people might know me from being one half of the World's Strongest Brothers. And I've competed in World's Strongest Man for the last five years now, I believe. I always get asked the questions, oh, it can't be that hard, oh, it doesn't look big against you. It's like, well, I'm six foot eight, so, you know, and I'm a strong man, so it shouldn't look too big. Before training, we always have a tin of rain, and it gives us that little boost that we need. Come on, come on then. Good pick up. Um, there's a lot of prima donnas out there, and we're certainly not prima donnas. We just, you know, we like to lift weights, we like to lift Atlas stones, log press, and that's our kind of fun time. And we're just, we're just a couple of dafties from the Highlands. The diet side is so important. Calories are king. Macaroni and cheese, double burger and chips, double burger and chips and macaroni and cheese. A breakfast blowout, which is basically eight to 10 pancakes and anything I want on it. So it could be ice cream, cream, donuts, chocolate, Haribo's, anything, any sweets that I want, I'll just put on it and ping my face. Just to feel for the gym. We've really upped our sugar intake to manipulate our insulin levels. So when we're ready to lift, our insulin levels are spiked. Our performance, you know, we're ready to perform. Tom and I are quite renowned for doing our cold water um, dips, so to speak. So we've got a, a plunge pool, we've got lochs around here. So mentally, it prepares me for a competition. So if I'm jumping in one degree water, my body's telling me not to do it. My mind's saying, no, don't do it. This is going to be horrible. But you have to force yourself to do that. I, I hate it, you know, and I think it, it loves me, but I hate it. So uh, I'd prefer just to jump straight in, but walking in and creeping in is, you know, you want to turn back. But then uh, for Loch Ness, it's kind of starts shallow, but then 10 step in, you go straight under. So that's a big shot. <laughs> so what inspires me? I think for me, um, it's my family. You know, it's uh, I touched obviously with mum going. Um, you go through bad things, and I kind of it was it was good in a way to. Ex expose myself to that type of pain, you know, being a strong man, because um, mum went through so much pain. Uh, uh, 
she goes through that, that pain and we often talk about that, you know, pain, I'm in pain, it's just lactic acid, that's all it is, it's not, it's not real pain. So seeing mum go through like the most severe pain I've ever witnessed was like the most inspiring, th inspiring thing for me. Like, uh, that, that's, what, that's what inspires me, my mum. So yeah, so I was diagnosed with autism when I was uh, roughly say five or six years old. Um, for me, the gym and straw man is kind of a distraction as well. You know, I come here to kind of forget about the world, forget about any, everything else. You know, three hours of just smashing big weights is the best feeling ever. And it's really, really helped me to kind of forget that I'm autistic, you know. Like from the first competition that Tom did, I knew he was going to be the best in the world. We just, drive each other, I think, to that next level. Without Tom, there wouldn't be a me, and without me, there wouldn't be a Tom. World records are nice, but, like, I don't want to be remembered as the King of the Stone, I want to be remembered as the greatest strongman of all time. I think Tom can go as far as he wants. Tom doesn't know a limit. He's got all the attributes that you need to be the best ever. I see him train every day. He's already broken the world record in the gym. When Luke's 100%, there's nobody in the world that will come close to him. I think humble is the most important thing, you know, like keeping your feet steady on the ground and helping others on their way, but also trying to, you know, achieve what you want to do, but doing it the right way instead of saying, I am the best in the stone, no one's going to beat me or I'm going to be world's strongest man. So I think humble is the best kind of quality you can have as a person. Last one, come on. Come on, Tom. Let's switch on now. Come on. Come on, let's go. Squeeze, Tom. I'm let go. Brilliant, let's go. Come on. Squeeze this in and lift it, Tom. Up it goes, come on. Ah, ah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh. Just go. No, you sort of <laughs> what happened? I followed through a wee bit, but it felt good. When did you put yourself? After the first one, like halfway on. That's why I kind of, cool. on the second one, is a bit like... <laughs> oh, this is not bleeding, so... <laughs> I'm going to take this serious one. <laughs> 